Dun, 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 dun. So you want to make a superhero and possibly a cape. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Tets by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender taking a look at how to create a cape. Um, I got a lot of a lot of comments about this on specifically the material tutorial we did uh, a while ago showing the material uh, simulation settings and things like that. Uh, getting a basic tutorial for that. Now we're going to de delve a bit deeper into material and cloth settings by creating a cape. So the first thing I want to do is we can leave everything because this is that's no big deal. We're going to go ahead and hit, uh, I'm going to move this by the way because that's a little bit in the way. Uh, I'm going to hit shift A uh, and, and grab a plane from mesh right there. I'm going to move this on back and we're going to hit tab on my keyboard to go into edit mode. Go into edge select mode and just grab this edge with the right mouse button and just pull, pull it back. Somewhere around right there, maybe yeah, something like that. Now, before we leave edit mode, I want to go down here and uh, go to loop, cut, and slide. And we'll just click that. And we'll just scroll our mouse wheel up a couple times just to split that in some pieces like that. And we'll do it one more time, going lengthwise this way. Go all the way down. Trying to keep them close to squares, by the way. Trying to keep them as close to squares as is possible. Hit tab to go out of edit mode now. And you can move the pivot point by going ahead and double tapping A to make sure everything is selected. Then moving that down right there. You don't have to do that. Um, but it is a pet peeve of mine, so we'll just do it. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and move that as close to the cube as is possible without actually colliding with it. And move it on up to about where the top of the cape would be, I suppose. Now, back in edit mode, I'm going to go ahead and go back to edge select mode and select every single one of these, uh, all these edges that's actually touching the cube here. I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift to grab the entire edge loop and right click that right there so it gets the whole edge. Um, and go over here, drag this panel open. And we will go ahead and go to the, uh, what is this tab called? The data tab. Yeah, the object data. I knew that. All right. <laughs> the upside down triangle for those of you that don't know technical terms. All right. Uh, we're going to go to vertex uh, vertex groups here and hit that plus. We're going to change this. We can call it just something like uh, cape. We'll just call it cape. Um, maybe we'll do something more than that. Cape. Uh, pen. Yeah, sure. And then we'll go ahead and wait assign. And we'll assign that right there. All right. Out of, out of, out of edit mode by hitting tab again. We can go on over to the physics panel over here with our uh, cape selected. We can go ahead and go to cloth and then check pinning. Change this to uh, cape pin. But before I do that, you can see if I do if I do that without that, it just kind of falls. It just falls. So the way we can fix this is we go ahead and hit pinning and then uh, put that cape pin in. You can see instantly now we have that cape being pinned to the top of our cube. The problem is you can see that the cape actually goes through the um, the, the 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 cube. So I'm going to go ahead and do two things here. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and downsize uh, cloth collision and make sure self collision is on. And then we're going to select our cube and hit collision. So now our cube has collision. If we go ahead and take a look now, the, uh, the, the cape doesn't go through it. If we uncheck self collision here and I go ahead and move this cube around, you should be able to see that when it does, you can see how it collides with itself. The, 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 the cape collides with itself. It just goes through itself like it's, you know, air or something, right? If I go ahead and, and I check self collision, you should be able to see that when I do this again and move this cube and force it to collide with itself, it doesn't actually collide. It doesn't actually collide with itself. You can see it's just kind of pushing itself around now. There's a little bit of collision, uh, self collision that's going through. But we can always up that uh, number right there, the quality level. So I'll up that a couple, maybe to five, and uh, play that again. All right, uh, so now what I want to do finally is we can go ahead and uh, parent these two together so I can move the cube and the cape comes along with. So, uh, with the cape selected, I'm going to go up to this uh, well, no, this tab right here, the Object Constraint tab. Hit Add Object Constraint and go to Child Of. Now we're going to select the target. The target's going to be our cube. I'll change the name of the cube, by the way, to Hero. Oh, I mean, hero Cube. Yeah, Hero Cube. That's great. Uh, best superhero name ever right there. I said it. Uh, okay, Object Data, Object con Constraint, sorry. Child Of, and we'll select Hero Cube. And now, if we move around our cube, you should be able to see that the cape moves with it, which is super cool. You can see we still have a little bit of collision problem. So if we go back and if we go ahead and we want to fix that, we can go back to our uh, our physics tab here with our cube, not with our cube, I'm sorry, with our cape selected. We'll go ahead and change the cloth collision uh, settings up. We're going to have to, we're gonna turn this up or else we're going to get some really weird um, some really, oh, some really weird uh, uh, stuff going on with our, with our, with our simulation. You can see if we move this here, it's looking a bit better, and when we smooth it around, it doesn't actually catch on itself, which is nice. You can see that it kind of just flips around. If I, if I go ahead and turn this all the way down to zero, and this all the way down to well, one, rather, and move it around, you can see if I move it around too fast, it starts to get caught on itself like that right there. 
and that's not what we need, that's not what we want so we can go ahead and fix that by turning up the quality uh, quite high actually and I'll turn up the distance a little bit and the repel and the repel distance right there um, and I will actually turn cape pin on on the self collision right there as well by the way um, you can actually you don't actually have to do that right there see what it says uh, versus defined vertices which are not being uh, which are not used during self collisions so these are saying we want them to be void pretty much while we're doing the self collision we can actually turn that off or leave it on it really doesn't matter all that much um, so, like I said, we can go ahead and move it around. You should be able to see that it's not really colliding all that much, which is nice. It, it still ma maintains that cape shape instead of getting all balled up and jumbled. Um, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. What I want to do, it, of course, if I let it go really far away, it's going to do something weird like that. Um, but, oh, that popped out. That was nice. All right. So, uh, what I want to do is, uh, as you can see, we have a bit of problems with uh, it's, it's still kind of pixely. So, what we'll do here is we will uh, actually go ahead. If if we want this to fall down more, we can always turn the distance down. By the way, the distance is what is making that that pop up like that right there. Um, so we can just put that put that down like that. All right. Uh, so the smooth, we can turn on smooth shading right there, which look, that looks pretty nice already, right? It looks pretty good. But if we move it around, you can see we have a bit of problem still that the collision needs to be turned up. But uh, just for the sake of the tutorial, something about six maybe. Yeah, sure. Uh, you can see we still have a little bit of problems. It's moving around and it's kind of chunky still. So we can go ahead and grab uh, a modifier, a subdivision surface, and plop that bad boy on there right there. And you can see that we have a bit nicer of a cape here, which is nice. So it's going to lag a bit, but we can move it around, which is nice. We go ahead back to the beginning. We can uh, move it around, which is nice, um, while it's playing, of course. And now it looks like an actual cloth, which is pretty nice and pretty cool. And the even cooler thing about this is we can do different shapes with this too. So we can do like a Batman style cape and pull these vertices right here up, right? So every other vertice, we can pull those up. Grab these two. Actually, we'll scale them together on the Y and then we'll pull them up somewhere about right there. So we can do like a Batman style cape, which is pretty cool, right? So that's nice. And uh, that is pretty much it for our cape tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, bye.